Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to make a mega money candle. This is a candle that I created and I use it for myself and it, it does, I'm not a person, I don't believe you should tell your, you know, your business, so to speak, but I'm just telling you this is a good candle. So what you're going to do is purchase some candles from, I like to buy mine from Walmart. I think this is a Walmart brand. You want a large candle in a jar. It has to be a jar because um, glass is a natural element and it holds energy. Now you want to clean off the label as I am doing. If you look at the video, you can see that I say that's what I'm doing right now. I am um, just cleaning off the label and I'm going to use the nail polish remover to remove the remaining residue or sticky residue. And once you clean off the label, you're going to want to use a sage stick to smudge it or you could use some Florida water or some white copal or whatever you use to clear the energy off of your objects before enchanting them with your wishes. I am now smudging my candle. I'm lighting the sage and I'm going to smudge my candle and I am mentally removing all negative energy all you know from all people from anyone who touched the candle and I'm also thanking the people who created the candle who you know who brought the candle to me but it's a it's a cleansing to clear the energy so to make sure that all of the energy attached to my candle is positive and one of the things that I ask for a lot too is to re even remove my own negative thinking, my own doubt. Now here, these are a list of ruin signs that I use, symbols, ruin symbols that I use on my candle to tell my candle what to do. And if you can see here, um, they, they work really well for me. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't know. I don't, I'm sorry so tired tongue today <laughs> but yeah they really work well for me and also if you can put these symbols on a bay leaf and they also work well so basically I'm just giving you an opportunity to just look at the names here this the yeah so well um, these are just different ones one of my favorites is the algae this is the symbol for protection that I like to write on the bottom and on all of my things. The one Joe, I mean, you can see here, um, if, you know, you can look the ruined symbols up online if you would like. They're everywhere. See who, um, Yura's, you'll see that they're everywhere. So I'm going to write these symbols on my candle so that the glass can I, um, absorb the message that I want to send to the next room in order to help me so they know exactly what I'm looking for. So now that I've cleansed my candle, I am going to, the first thing I like to do is write on the bottom and uh, the first symbol I like to use is the symbol for protection. I call it the Algiz, it's A-L-G-I-Z. So I'm not sure if it's algae's or algae's, but it's, it's, it is for protection, a shield, a warding off of evil, a connection with the gods, your higher, your higher self, your higher life, and it's also a sign to follow your instincts. I love to write this on the bottom, and then I write something along the lines of I am divinely protected, my health, my wealth, my family, my well-being, I am protected from all negative energy, negative thoughts, negative people, curses, jinx, Hex, anything, anything that comes near me is blocked, dispelled, um, dissolved, and removed. Um, sent back to the central sun, to all there is to be cleansed for good, or whatever along those lines. I think it's rated differently all the time, but the basic message is 
this candle is protective from all negative energy and I usually include that includes my own negative thinking and my own like I said before my own self doubt. Whatever you want to write in your own words saying that you are protected and that you're claiming this. So after I write my little message on the bottom then I go ahead and I draw the Star of David as large as I can. As you can see here, this is a really um, big triangle that I'm drawing. I like to draw it as big as I can on what you know on the side because you're going to do some writing on it. So make sure you write it as big as you can. And after I draw my Star of David, you'll see I'll connect the points and make a hexagon. something absolutely magical about this symbol I don't know uh, what it is if anyone knows in the uh, comment box below you want to explain it to me I've just put it together from doing research about Saturn and other type of spiritual work and I've just found it to be uh, a very strong manifesting symbol The first thing I like to write is the algae, which is the symbol for protection. I write it in the top triangle and I also write it in the bottom triangle. Protection, the protection of your wishes or whatever it is you want of your money candle is so important. You can do not miss this step. Now in each of the points, I am going to write one of the symbols that I was showing you earlier on the piece of paper, like the Wunjo, which is for recognition of worth and success. It looks like a P with a triangle. Um, the Fihu is also the symbol of wealth. Um, Jera is a symbol for results and efforts realized. It is a time of peace and happiness, fruitful season, the promise of success. Then there's also the Ur the Urus, which is for speed, great energy, untamed potential, action, wisdom, success, and goals achieved. There's also the Sawillo, which kind of looks like a, a, a Z that's spread out, and it represents the sun and it's it and power available to you victory health and success and I also use the American symbol for uh, for money and I write these symbols on my on my candle and then I write a personal message in the middle um, you can write whatever you want I usually I'm grateful for whatever wealth and prosperity that's in my life um, whatever you want to say whatever money affirmations you want to say you this personal to you I also like to write my full name and my birth date um, and the, I, sometimes I forget to sign it but a signature is good too so you want to write that right in the middle of that hexagon and then once you finish doing that you, as you can see here go ahead and start to color the points now gold red purple green and blue are supposed to be the colors of wealth but gold is like really a dominant color so is purple and silver is also a good color for wealth so you want to co color in your points and you're you know you're going to cover this up because what you're doing is not just adding the the ruin symbols that have a lot of energy attached to it from like when, whenever anyone use a symbol for a long period of time that energy gets stronger and stronger so you're adding that message that the the spirit world can read that message and then color also is another tool that conveys a message because of the rays that it um, the frequency that it resonates at so even though this pen this acrylic painter may look it looks blue but it's actually purple 
So I'm filling in the colors because the more energy and the more time you put on your candle, the more impactful, the faster, the better it's going to work because it's all about your intentions and it's about your energy. Now, even though I like to buy my candles sometimes, but the candles that I make are the, the most effective, but they're also the most time consuming. But that's just how life is. You know, the more energy you put into something, the more you get out of it. So now I'm going to take my crystal cold glaze, but you may also use clear glue and I am spreading it over my personal note to, I like to say God, some people say the universe, some people say all that is, God is whatever is comfortable to you. You want to go ahead and place that clear glue or crystal cold glaze over this little hexagon in the middle of your personal message and you want to sprinkle glitter like I have purple glitter red glitter remember the color red it actually blocks anyone from taking your money so if any if any you know bill collectors debt collectors anybody's coming after your money red protects your money child so purple is for mega money like you know because purple was a very difficult color to make and it was only available to the wealthy and of course we know gold is, is a sign of as a symbol element of color of wealth extreme wealth so I have purple gold green I'm not sure uh, maybe silver whatever other colors you see you sprinkle here so you want, you want to make sure that you cover up your personal note and what you're doing is well basically glitter because it, it shines it communicates with the spirit ram shiny is like a like um i don't know how do i say this but when something shines it attracts attention and it attracts positive the attention of positive spirits who want to help you positive ancestors so this is why you want to cover you want to cover it with glitter so that the only the beings or the entities or the spirit world that is of good will be attracted to your message and they will help you um, now what you want to do is take a sharp object this is an owl I'm using it to place seven holes clockwise in my candle I use a number seven because it's the day I was born on it's a lucky number for me but, you, but other numbers for prosperity are eight and some people do six and some people do nine like whatever of those numbers that you decide to use but I like to, to punch seven holes because I'm just gonna use that to give to um, move the wax around for my herbal mix my master money herbal mix that I'm going to add so this is the herbal mix that I've made it and usually when I make it I make it in a big batch because it's a very time consuming to make. I put, I put it in my, mor what is it called, your mortar with the pestle. And I just, oh my God, I, it takes me about at least three hours to make this mix. And I also put all of the oils in it, like the wealth oil, the, um, you know, the money drawing oil, prosperity, abundance. I have a variety of uh, money type oils. Once I've mixed all of the dry goods together, and once everything is mixed as much as I can mix it, then I add the oils to it and I mix it some more. And then um, whatever's left over, as you can see, I put it in a Ziploc bag. So this mix has been made for a while. And I am just adding a little bit more oils now to the mixture. So protection from envy, also something for protection. Please don't forget your protection because when you know it's almost like whenever you have something you know it's like when a bird has an egg I know this is a bad example but this is what popped in my head they don't just leave it out they hide it like so it's kind of like you're hiding your wish from from entities or spirits who may um, have ill will for you like you don't even know sometimes how it may they may not even know it like um, I had a, a, one of my students once said that she didn't tell her sister about that she was getting married because when her sister told her that she was getting married that 
poor hot for a moment she was like extremely jealous and she said but then she you know she came around and she said I love my sister more than anybody in the world but she understood the importance she said because of her experience she understands why you shouldn't tell people because it, people are just human you know and then maybe if, so just basically ill feelings can happen no matter what so I know I was talking a lot but I've added some fast oil now I'm adding my gemstone so you want to put your herbal mix down first and then you want to go ahead this is the train which attracts wealth um, I'm also adding adventuring my imperial topaz I forgot to add it in the video but imperial topaz is a really bomb gemstone for wealth and prosperity you also I know um, you can add what else? Oh, oh the dendritic agate this is a it's, a, it's called the, the gemstone of plenty or the stone of plenty I'm also adding this these gold flakes because again you want to charge the energy of money and wealth and with that herbal mix I also included shredded money in that mix so all of that was already in there and sometimes I like to add coins as well but I thought with the gold and the shredded money I felt that it had enough energy I forgot to mention that I added pirate early later after the video and I am also now adding crushed red roses which is really for good luck and it also makes it pretty and I like to add a layer of dried lavender because again it makes it really pretty and I have a purple flower that I a darker purple I can't think of the name of the flower but I like to add it also because I truly believe that when something looks beautiful and exotic like you put a lot of care and love into it it there it sends a message everything sends a message and I'm also so now I'm adding some glitter the green um, red purple gold glitter again glitter attracts positive energy it attracts, attracts positive spirits from the other side to help assist in delivering your message and connecting the dots in your life to bring about your will now after you finish your candle I like for you to walk into your home like if you live with your family or whatever whatever is your personal space you walk in your room and you look into the far left corner try your best to burn your candle in your money area if, if it's your home when you walk in the door look into the far left corner that is your money area straighten it up and let the candle burn do not leave this candle un unattended until it the wax melts you shouldn't leave it unattended at all but I'm saying watch it to make sure nothing you know is on fire and just let the wax melt over the layering I really hope this video helps someone thank you so much for watching and have a prosperous prosperous year